Hi, I'm Julia, reference librarian at McAllen Public Library. Welcome to the Virtual Traveler, where we'll be exploring the world using Google Street View. Be sure to stay tuned after the tour for some library book recommendations. Today we'll be traveling to Andalusia, which is the southernmost autonomous community in peninsular Spain, meaning except for the small communities across the Strait of Gibraltar in Morocco. The autonomous communities in Spain are like the equivalent of states in the United States. Coincidentally, it's also where about a quarter of my own DNA is from, according to a DNA ancestry test. And I also spent a couple of months living in Andalusia in high school and college. I can tell you from my own experience and memories that it's a magical place. It's also where a lot of great books and classic literature are set, like Tales from the Alhambra by Washington Irving and many of Ernest Hemingway's books, like The Sun Also Rises, Death in the Afternoon, For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Dangerous Summer, and The Garden of Eden. Links to find these books at the McAllen Library are in the description. The capital of Andalusia is Sevilla, and some of the other larger cities are Cordoba, Granada, Cadiz, and Malaga. Andalusia is famous for its beaches and is a popular tourist spot and has both an Atlantic and a Mediterranean coastline. What's so fascinating about Andalusia, however, is its history and culture. Because of its strategic location as the gateway between Africa and Europe, and its rich deposits of minerals and agricultural wealth, Andalusia has actually been inhabited by humans since prehistoric times. There are some theories that the first humans in Europe were actually in Andalusia, and the first paintings of humanity are in the caves of Nerja near Malaga. The first major kingdom to develop in Andalusia was Tartessos in the second millennium BC. The kingdom was known to the ancient Greeks and Phoenicians, and they were important trading partners with the Phoenicians. After the fall of the original Phoenician cities, Andalusia was dominated by the Carthaginians, based in what is now Tunisia, and then the Romans. This period lasted until the 400s AD, when Andalusia fell under control of the Vandals, Visigoths, and then the Byzantine Empire. Of course, what Andalusia is most famous for are its Moorish influences. The Moorish period began in 711 AD, when the Muslim Umayyad general Tariq ibn Ziyad overthrew the Visigoths on most of the Iberian Peninsula. The Visigoths only maintained control of the northern areas of the Iberian Peninsula. The rest of the peninsula became known as the Caliphate of Cordoba. The Muslim rulers remained tolerant of the local faiths throughout their rule. Some of the most famous landmarks in Spain and the world, like the Alhambra in Granada and the Mesquita or Mosque in Cordoba, were built during this period. Slowly, the northern kingdoms of Spain eventually began moving south and taking control of the caliphate in what was known as the Reconquista. The Moorish period in Spain ended in 1492 with the fall of Granada. Even if you're not a history buff, there are so many other fascinating things about Andalusia, like the rich tradition of flamenco music and dance. In the same way Musica Regional provides a musical backdrop for daily life here in South Texas. Flamenco is a part of life in Andalusia. You can walk down the street or through a city central plaza on any given night and hear the intense flamenco beats from various windows and doorways. The exact origin of flamenco music is unknown, but it's generally agreed that it began in the 16th century and was a result of a cross-cultural exchange between the Moorish and Romani people. A lot of famous writers like Ernest Hemingway have been drawn to the rich history and culture of Andalusia, and you can check out these books from the library's collection. Keep watching as we explore some of the most famous and historic sites in Andalusia.
You might be wondering what's special about this street. It's the Camino del Sacro Monte and is the heart of flamenco music. It's full of venues built into caves and the hillside, like the one right here, that hosts dramatic flamenco shows. This was Julia, and thank you for watching. Be sure to follow MPL Adults on Facebook and McCown Public Library on YouTube, and don't miss any of our virtual programs.